Hi, I'm Kuber, forever hopeful. This is another video in our series of burning areas of concern, burning questions, frequently asked questions. And today I'm here to attend to another, address another question which is frequently asked and that is status of application. I know once you get your AOR, which is acknowledgement of receipt, you're only anxious to find out what's happening with my application. We're going to do this in this video today. Uh, stay tuned. Hey, welcome back. So what is it, your status, IP1, IP2, what is it? I know this is this is been asked so many times and I have said this so many times that there is no such thing as IP1, IP2. But let's, let's take this from the top. So earlier, uh, people had established timelines, trends, based on lots of data, you know, people would share their uh, messages of approval and, and when they receive their approval and they would share certain milestones of applications as visible on the CIC account and they were able to establish what is IP1 and IP2. So IP1 meant basically uh, we will start your background check and once we start we will let you know. So that was IP1. The second was IP2 which was we have started your background check and if we need something we will send you a message or we will ask you for it. So this became IP1, IP2. For some reason, IP2 was established as a milestone, which basically meant this is the last step and PPR is soon to follow, whether in few hours or few days or few weeks. And, and therefore, people were always anxious to see this IP2 status. I will say this again, as of today, or rather as of last one year, as of last 18 months, there is no such thing as IP1 or IP2. There are tons of applications out there who managed to see their approval and they actually never went to the IP2 stage. Their, their CIC account never showed IP2. Similarly, uh, there were so many applications which were on IP2 right from um, after the medical passed and uh, it stayed like that for six months. So what I'm trying to say is these, these statuses on your CIC account are not indicative of exactly what's happening with your application. So please get rid of these anxious and anxiety stages. Uh, these can only actually get your stress levels up thinking why is that person on IP1 or IP2 and I am not. So, you know, don't, don't, don't fall for that anymore. The only way to understand the status of your application is actually there are not many options out there. You can call CIC, of course, the call centers are very busy, but don't expect to get a lot of uh, details. Uh, you can write to CIC using the web form. Again, don't expect to get a lot of details. Uh, you can order GCMS notes uh, and sometimes ordering GCMS notes can give you an insight. What is GCMS notes? So GCMS notes stands for Global Case Management System. This is the system that CIC uses to record their assessment notes. So if you order GCMS notes, sometimes you get an insight as to what is, is, is CIC looking for in your application? What are they doing? Where have they reached? What have they assessed? What have they not assessed? What are their concerns? Uh, where is your application at review or is it, is it a review required for proof of funds, review required for work experience. So proactively you can take certain steps uh, which can uh, you know uh, quell their concerns, quell CIC's concern or which will satisfy their concerns or, or sort of you know help them assess your application successfully. It doesn't happen all the time but sometimes yes you can. What is the best time to order GCMS notes? Anytime after the fourth month from your AOR, you can look at ordering GCMS notes. It's not a must do activity. You don't have to order GCMS notes. Ideally, just have patience. You know, that's, that's the best thing that I can suggest uh, because in most cases, you won't get much information. Uh, and in a lot of other cases, there is nothing much you can do, but just wait, okay? Earlier, the process times were anywhere from, uh, let's say, uh, two years to four years. Ever since the express entry system came, they were reduced to six months. As of today, it's average for 80% of the applications, it's six months. Uh, on the contrary, a lot of applications have been crossing six months now because it's averaging between five to eight months now. I know, I know, I know. There are lots of people out there who get their applications processed in 30 days, in 50 days, in two months, in three months. And the remaining people get all anxious. Why did this person get this application processed so quickly? What about me? Why not me? You know, when people share their e PPR uh, timelines, 
you only read the PPR timelines. You do not know what is the background of that application. You do not understand the work experience, the education, the birth, where the person studied, what the person did, the personal activities, the travel histories, etc, etc, etc. You do not know all that. Okay. So please do not compare with the different applications because it will only make you more anxious. Each application is different. Each application is assessed on its own merits, on its own documentation. So just have faith, have patience and you will get through. And once you do get through, please share your PPR messages with us. I love reading the PPR messages. I, I can almost sense the excitement uh, that you guys are feeling, your happiness that you are feeling. And it's always great to read those messages. So share them with us. And uh, until that time, I'm forever hopeful and keep hoping and praying that your application gets processed very quickly. See you soon.